What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we brought along a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek, and we're gonna tell you guys about an update that was done to Apple CarPlay that is gonna make you very happy. So we are inside of a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek, and this specific infotainment system here is the 8-inch, it's the Generation 3.1 Starlink touchscreen infotainment system. Um, so this is the newest system that we have here, and we can see also that this one actually does have built-in navigation. But what we're going to talk about today, though, are some updates to Apple CarPlay that are going to now allow you to use Google Maps and Waze in addition to the Apple Maps that you've already had access to. So previously, Apple customers only had access to Apple Maps and Android Auto customers using Android phones would have access to Google Maps and Waze. I'm sure it was some business contract to deal with somebody, but uh, it was for a while, probably two years or so, at least with Subaru, um, that that was going on. So um, the nice thing is there's a couple things that we need to do with your phone first in order for this to work. And this will work, you know, we don't need to be in the most recent one here. We can be using, um, you know, if you have a 17 Impreza or an 18 Impreza or an 18 Crosstrek or, uh, you know, a 2019 Forester, the new Ascent. I mean, all of our new cars have, you know, at least the uh, previous generation of this, which has, you know, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here. Um, we can tell this is the most recent one because we're seeing Starlink as well as the My Subaru app. So, a couple things that we need to do with the phone first is we need to go to settings and then under general settings, we need to go to software update and just make sure that you have iOS 12. So this is the most recent software update for Apple. Uh, this is gonna be the software that you need to have on it. Now, if you have a very old iPhone, it's possible it won't let you update that. Um, but, you know, I have a 6S Plus and I, I'm totally fine with mine. Uh, this is my, uh, my associate's phone that we're using here now though. So, the, uh, so once we have iOS 12, and usually you need to have either a large amount of battery, I know you need to be connected to Wi-Fi, and it usually is just easiest to be plugged into a power source just to make sure you have enough battery because it does zap, zap up quite a bit of your current battery level. Now the second thing that we need to do is we need to go to the App Store, and down on the bottom right here we see Updates, so I'm just going to tap on Updates and just see if you have a update for Google Maps because you need to have the most recent update for Google Maps in order for this to work. Now, once we do that, I simply plug in my phone to the USB. Now, this does need to be into the USB charger, and here it's going to be in the center armrest, and a lot of our cars, it's going to be up here. But you do also need to make sure you're using a true media cable. Usually, it's just easiest to use the Apple cable that the phone came with or just get a new one. Some you know, ones you get on Amazon and stuff like that work, but a lot of the gas station ones are just going to be just for charging, so they're not going to do this. You need one that can, you know, communicate the, the media up here. So once I do that, sometimes you're going to see on your phone, it'll say allow access to CarPlay while phone is locked. Just hit allow on that. Once you do that once, you don't need to do it again. So I'll tap on CarPlay. And then now I'm going to see Google Maps and Waze. Yes, yes, we finally have access to those. You can use either of these now in addition to Apple Maps. Now, one of the issues that I don't like though is whenever I am plugged into Apple CarPlay and I hit the voice button over on the left side of the steering wheel here if I don't want to put in an address and I just you know from like let's say I'm listening to the radio or something like that if I want to put on an address it's going to default to Apple Maps every time I can't even say you know navigate to with Google Maps I've tried every possible combination it will not do it I even tried deleting Apple Maps and just having Google Maps on there and it still wouldn't do it so here's how we're going to do this um, so I'll just demonstrate that for you. I'll put in uh, the address for our uh, Group Etc. store down the street. So navigate to 2855 South Broadway, Englewood, Colorado. Getting directions to 2855 South Broadway, Englewood. So that's nice, the ability to use Siri, you know, and things there. It looks like he's got his mic turned off for that, but Head northwest on there we South go. Broadway Circle, then turn right onto South Broadway. Nice. Cool. Um, awesome. So now we're going to exit out of that. Now, if you want to use Google Maps or Waze, you can still use voice, kind of, but it does require you just tapping the screen one extra time here. So I'll show you how to do that. Waze. So I can't say the address or, you know, navigate with Waze to a certain place, like I said. But what I'll do here is I just have to tap the microphone, and I can do this while I'm driving, too, which is nice. 
2855 South Broadway, Englewood, Colorado. Okay, navigating to 2855 South Broadway, Englewood. Now, since you are already, Let's since you are already, South Nancy, Broadway. I'm trying to do a video here. So uh, since I'm already within the, the Waze app, or even the same thing with Google Maps, I'm already within those apps and I tap that microphone, it already knows that you're within that app. So you don't need to say navigate to. In fact, sometimes that gets confused. So um, all you need to do is just say the address. I almost never say the zip code. It seems like sometimes saying the zip code can confuse it a little bit. So, um, but there you go, easy peasy. So now finally the uh, customers with Apple phones are no longer at any type of disadvantage there with better navigation apps available to you now. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have found this video to be helpful. Uh, please like it if you liked what you saw and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this. Thanks so much.